thank you for joining me. So as the mojo has been off the boil a bit, I thought I would get some of the uh, Lego sets that I've got in the loft uh, built. So at least I can get them on the shelves and get rid of the boxes. Uh, this however was a recent introduction to my um, collection. Uh, this is the um, T6 Jedi Shuttle from the um, Ahsoka series that's uh, on Disney at present. Uh, it's not um, true to scale because basically one minifigure can fit in the cockpit uh, and that's about it. But uh, still a nice um, representation, shall we say, of uh, Ahsoka's ship. You get uh, four minifigures. Uh, you get Ahsoka, Sabine Wren, uh, Professor Hugh Yang, I think it is, and Marik. Marik's the bad guy with the, uh, the red uh, lightsaber. So I shall get the figures and uh, the kit and we'll have a quick look at it together. So there it is guys and as you can see it's still quite a big uh, model when you compare it to the minifigures. Um, it would be absolutely ginormous if it, as I say, if it was true to scale. You can um, spin the wings on this uh, so that they're vertical um, to, to the body of the ship, which is uh, what can, ha well, what happens to uh, Ahsoka's ship. She can, you know, as I say, swing the wings around so she can do some really neat uh, acrobatics. The only issue with that, and this may be me not uh, realizing something, if you did put the wings vertical, I can't see how it would sit um, by itself on a flat surface. Um, there's just not enough. Um, there's just not enough down here to uh, to allow it to do that. Um, but uh, quite a few pieces to this uh, to this uh, particular set. Lego used to put on the box somewhere how many pieces was in the set, but they've stopped. I think they've stopped doing that with the standard set it's only with the if you like the adult builds um the more convoluted builds that they um they put a, a figure on there all four figures from this set are um, new iterations which is great one of the reasons i bought it <coughs> well the main reason i bought it but at um i think it was 90 pound um i'm definitely keeping off of the uh, of the shuttle as well because uh that would make these figures, what, um, £22 each if I was to just get rid of the shuttle, so yeah. So that's the uh, first one. Okay, before we move on to this one, the Winnie the Pooh uh, treehouse. Um, I made a mistake with the, the price of that uh, other set. It was only £65 uh, only, he says. So yeah. Right, this one has been in the loft for a while. Uh, I showed it on um, my channel, God knows when. Uh, this has actually got 1,265 pieces to it. So a lot more than a lot of the kits that, that, I, uh, that I build and model kits. Um, when this came out, I just had to have it. Um, I used to watch the Winnie the Pooh films uh, with the kids. Um, and I have to confess, I really enjoyed them. There was just a simplicity to them that was great. Um, you know, just the kind of thing that young children should be watching. Um, so yeah. Uh, so yeah, I grabbed this out of the loft um, because I wanted to, to get this built. Uh, it took um, two sittings, uh, two evenings in order to complete it. So I shall get uh, the, the, um, the tree house and we'll have a look at it together. Okay, so I've had to pan out a bit to fit it all in. Um, as you can see, it's quite a tall um, build, this one. So we've got uh, five minifigures there. We've got Eeyore, uh, Rabbit, Tigger, Piglet and Pooh Bear. Um, a lot of fun putting these together. Um, I just uh, will turn it around because uh, you can open up the back of the, uh, the treehouse. So there you go, there's all the comforts of home um, <laughs> inside there. Um, some nice little details. I like the stove, for instance, um, with, the, with the chimney coming out there. Uh, I'll switch it back around so we can see the minifigures a bit closer. 
So there we go, Piggly Tidy Behind Rabbit. Um, I believe these are all, uh, sorry, these are all uh, new iterations. Uh, I'm not sure that there's been any um, other minifigures made of any of these uh, characters, but I could be wrong because um, Lego do um, like a collectible series where they uh, put Disney figures, you, you collect 18 Disney figures, and it may be that um, one of them was included in that, I'm not sure. So that's that one. Okay, so the last one to show you is this um, A Christmas Carol uh, diorama with minifigures. Uh, this came out in 2020. It's been in my life for nearly three years. Uh, set number 40410. Uh, there's just three minifigures in this one. Um, the Pooh Bear house cost £90. That's where I was getting confused before. This one, I think, cost 30 um, Interestingly, although there hasn't been other iterations of um, Bob Cratchit, Tiny Tim or Scrooge, they're, they're not that valuable um, with regards to resale of the minifigures, um, which I find odd because, you know, they're one of a kind at present. And so you would think that they were of some value, but they're not really. I think they were about £4 each. Believe it or not, myself and Charlie were chatting last Thursday, and then we realised that it is this uh, this Chris sorry this December is the 180th anniversary of the the release of this book, uh, A Christmas Carol. Um, so it, it's interesting that we didn't realise that Charlie's just done the Marley and um, Scrooge busts, and then as I say, I got this at the loft and uh, have built this. And then it was afterwards we realised that it's uh, 180 years. So I shall just get the um, the uh, the build. So there we go. I've just zoomed in a bit so you can see uh, Scrooge and uh, Bob Cratchit, uh, Tiny Tim's outside, obviously in the cold, waiting for his dad. Um, really like this set. It's a really nice little uh, diorama or vignette, um, and it doesn't take up too much <laughs> space on the shelf. Although this may be one of those sets that goes goes back up in the loft and comes out each year. I've got, um, sorry, the, fa the family, I should say, have got a few Christmas sets um, that come out at Christmas. And so this may be one that uh, does uh, similar to that. I'll just zoom out a bit so you can see the whole thing. So there we go. Um, as I say, really enjoyable um, set to put together. Um, and uh, I'm, I do love... Uh, the the story uh, my favorite version of the films is probably uh, the George C. Scott one um, I think he he does it brilliantly uh, and then the Alistair Sims one um, there's been so many produced uh, and so many variations on it that uh, you, you could you could watch quite a few and uh, get something different from each film Anyway, guys, I thought I'd just do a, a show and tell on the on the Lego sets that I've done. I've got plenty of others to do. Uh, I keep buying them, but uh, as I say, with the the mojo off the ball at present, it was an ideal opportunity to um, keep my hands busy by uh, getting these together. Thanks ever so much for watching. Thanks for the uh, kind comments about um, the. The matchbox kit I've just built for the um, uh, military, uh, so the wheeled vehicles in military use group build. Uh, I know that I said I was disappointed, but uh, you guys, um, you know, you were still kind enough to uh, to say that it looked good. So thanks ever so much for that, and also for the kind comments on the World War One builds. Um, really do appreciate it. Anyway, it's Monday night. I hope you have a, a great week. Look after yourselves. And I'll catch up with you soon.